Wait, wait, wrong movie. Scratch that. So I'm at Rocky Mountain Cycle Plaza. That's how the truck looks. Got a lot of stuff in there. We'll see how I get the bike back. But this place has done amazing things for me throughout my career. Uh, one of the best shops here in Colorado, just in general. And I love everybody here. They're always so family friendly and they're always really friendly to me. So I'm gonna go in there with my selfie stick and I really need to go wireless here. It's me being cheap having this darn cord everywhere but the only reason why I'm here is I was here yesterday but I got to get some t-shirts for the national my wife wanted a specific uh, white one to wear I do have some pit shirts but it's got some old sponsors on it because I haven't done this at least race a national in two years so yeah I, honestly I've, I've had uh, I'm averaging 600,000 views a month I got news for you, baby. For, for racing, so um, people put Johnny Hopper in there. Yeah, yep. Yeah, and just talking about some stuff that people don't really talk about with racing. Just people seem to like it. Yeah. So everybody wants to know what I'm bringing to the races. It's a completely stock 2019 FC 450. I've had it for about four months now, and I've got a total of 12 hours on the motorcycle. So holy sh. Stock suspension, stock pipe, stock pretty much everything. Well, I guess I can't say that. I did do some secret mods that I'll tell you guys about just for the Nationals. So I added a aerospace foam for the seat for propulsion purposes. Then I also added a high compression foot peg fluid to keep me grounded. I use nitrogen for my throttle pressure because air is just for noobs. This is Ryan. Hi. I love his accent. Hi. Talk. Hey, what's going on, guys? <laughs> Down here at Rocky Mountain. Uh, he's from England, am I right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I wish I wish I was from England because I have a cool accent like that. Everyone and then, thinks I'm from Australia, but it's cool. Dude, you could yeah. pull that off. I know, right? With yeah. The American twang and the English accent. Um, like, what's his? Uh, gosh, I can't believe that I forget this, but he's he's that individual that died. He was on the Steve Discovery. Bowman? Yeah, yeah. Well, what does he normally say? Smokes, that was too close. Woo! Danger, danger, danger. Uh, crikey. Crikey. Yeah. Crikey, okay. Crikey lads, yeah. Uh, yeah, there he goes. So, cheers. And then this is Jamie. We love her. She's always helped me out forever. Is Josh back there by any yes. chance? Okay. Um, I just want to see if they have any other t shirts. What's up, Larry? What's up, Josh? So I did get some t-shirts, so wife will be happy. You know the saying, happy wife, happy life. Got my moto dog, only taking one today because the nationals are crazy. They actually have rules that say no dogs, but you know, riders get away with stuff. I don't wanna go to school, I just wanna break the rules. Boys and girls are I'm definitely low budget racing. I'm going to put pump gas, that's right guys, pump gas in my dirt bike. It's a stock dirt bike, so there is no $30 a gallon coming now. And what's the price here for premium? Premium looks like it's $342. So to me, seems a little expensive. So just for all you non-believers out there that I'm actually putting pump gas in, oh, you can't see the light, selfie stick, come on. You see it? Better angle. That is on there. Putting 91. Ooh, doo -doo. I think four gallons is enough. 13 bucks. 
If you're a Colorado native, you get where I'm coming from. There needs to be people to stop moving here because of the legal marijuana. It's legal in plenty of other states, and they need to make our highway bigger. I'm not even to Cass Rock yet, which is still a little over an hour from Lakewood. It's just ridiculous how much traffic we have. And I've decided to do a lot of driving because I'm going to drive up there, go through tech inspection, and I'm going to drive home uh, so I can pick up my wife and have her come to the races tomorrow. Uh, we're not going to sleep at the track. And she's sort of, she's like my security blanket when it comes to racing. Always, hey baby, do, do I look like I'm riding well? Do I, do I look fast? Uh, what can I do fa better? And she's like, Johnny, here's a tampon. Your vagina's bleeding. Go out there. Get shit fucking done. And that's what I love about her. Because <laughs> she's not afraid to say exactly what speaks her mind. She doesn't coddle me whatsoever. So we're going to pick up our pit passes. Um my pro license because this is the first national I'm, I'm going to and then we got to pick up a mechanics pass for this dude behind the camera and then also my wife my wife needs a, a pit pass too sounds expensive potentially could be everyone thinks that you like pros get a race for free but you don't which <laughs> So, I forgot you need to be an AMA member. Do you have an AMA card? Are you not currently? I forgot about that. So, I need to buy your AMA. I, I can buy it. Oh, yeah. that's okay. How much is it? Like 40 bucks? It's like 50 bucks. I just have to do it online. So, I'll do it on my cell phone and then I'll come back here and we'll get your pass. Expensive mechanic. You are an expensive mechanic. Do you want a receipt? No, thank you. Yeah. Okay, so start again. We're just pitted right there by that. Uh, see those white awnings kind of going that way? Those gray awnings there? Or gray, yeah, gray. Yeah. I'm right next to that. I'm in that toy hauler right next to that. Yeah, so we could be squished up behind you're in the, it. the toy hauler with the Z on the back of it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. ZX on the back yes, of it. Yes, sir. Yep. Okay. You can take step and go drop it off. Yeah, I mean, we're just not going to be able to leave the rig there all weekend. I mean, I am okay. packed. Okay. Because uh, that water, this water, I can't move. It's it's too much. Could I leave it for, like, tech inspection and stuff? And I'm leaving here tonight, and then I'll be back in the morning. But. Yeah, I mean, I don't care today as far as tech inspection and stuff. Yeah. You know, and stuff like that. I mean, you can tuck it in there, you know, behind your tailgate there and stuff. But, I mean, I, I am going to be to the point today... I got four more hours of parking to do. You sound and, like you're you're super busy. There's and a lot if, going if I on. don't, and if I don't, if I if I lose everything I got here for parking vehicles that don't even have a bike with them, okay, yeah. and you've already got something there that can handle the bike being there with it, I'm gonna have guys parked over here in okay. the field. They can't even get in the pro pits. Okay. So, yeah, you're good for today. Unload what you can unload out of there today. And then we'll have to try and figure out something in the morning if you're trying to bring the water barrel back in. Okay. Yes, maybe sir. we'll try to maybe we'll try to roll it off. Okay. We'll, we'll figure Thank it out. You. Thanks, man. So we're gonna go check out press day. Since I wasn't invited, we can at least watch, see what kind of lines they're taking. What do you think, Rylan? Yeah, buddy. It just sucks. We get a watch press day. Hopefully find some good lines. Because we weren't invited. Doesn't seem like there's a lot of riders on the track right now. I see rocks in and I see Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, you do. No, it just sucks that I see like five guys from uh, Colorado here that haven't raced any of the nationals. 
Like, there's Derek Anderson. And you got Todd Bannister. And just Bobby Fitz was out here. It just sucks that they said no to me, depressed day, but a bunch of other people. Oh, I'm I gotta get a new tire. Came off that. Alright, so I bought my mechanic a good pit shirt. His name's Rylan. You saw him in the last video. This is actually his toy hauler, so I feel spoiled. But <laughs> there it is. There's his his new pit shirt. I actually had to order it because at the bike shop, um, I'm not making a fat joke, Rylan, but they only had That's what he's trying to say. <laughs> they only had large, and the large looked like it was gonna fit me, so I had to order a double uh, X. So we gotta see if it, it's gonna. And nope, we are not sponsored by Rockstar. It just, it fucking looks cool. And now that we're really not racing the scene all the rounds or anything, we can run whatever the hell we think is looks cool. That's right. Holy crud. It looks kind of small. I think it's going to be just right, buddy. We're going to have to pause for just a second. Six and a half hours late. All right, we're back. <laughs> I know, <laughs> dude. I something about wh when did it? Where does it say that it's made? It should say where it's where it it's says made. Turkey. Turkey. Yeah, there must be some small fuckers in in Turkey. Looks good though. Dude, it looks it looks Feels pimping. Good. I wish I had tats. No, you don't. <laughs> no, that looks good. That looks really good. We done it's, good. It's good. Good around. Well, I I said at least go to the suspension of what I've tested up here. See what I like. It looked like it was real fast and rushed, man. I know you didn't want, want me to tell it. Yeah, but what's funny is it, it, it felt good, though. Well, it felt good, and that's all right. Just, I didn't feel like it was bad. It almost looked like it was chattering a little bit. Don't be shy. How are you guys doing? Doing pretty good. How are you today? Marvelous. I'd be more than shy. All right, so here's where I'm going to go on a little bit one of my rants. MX Sports is a dictatorship. It's not a democracy. The riders really have no say whatsoever. We just follow rules and are told what to do. Imagine if we started a union and all the privateers didn't show up to any of the supercrosses or the motocrosses and there was only 10 or so factory bikes. What would change? Would the purse money change? Would the rules be changed? Hmm, it's something to think about. The way it is set up currently is it's to favor the people making the money, the factories, and to hurt the privateers. They throw so much money at this, it's ridiculous. Tech inspection is basically making sure that their logos are visible uh, on the front number plate and the back. They do write your frame number down, but they'd never check it. Uh, unless you finish top three, your bike doesn't get impounded. You don't have a weight test. You don't have an exhaust sound test. So let's just wink, wink. What do you think I could get away with as a privateer? And even if I'm finishing top 10, nobody's going to care. Nobody's going to say anything unless I start beating some of the factory guys and they start losing out on money so then they're going to go oh why is this guy doing so well let's let's test his equipment and then they might actually have the rule state that they need one of the technicians to test my weight limit or what fuel I'm using or if I'm actually cheating so you could just imagine, that was tech inspection right there. I just basically walked through. They made sure my numbers were on the back, and that was it. What do you think I could get away with as a privateer? What do you think privateers do get away with with throwing money at this sport? 
So if you guys have been following me, you do know that I made a video about cheating, and I got a lot of backlash for it. But guys, don't be naive that you think that that's not in our sport, especially at a professional level where there's no money to be made for the privateers until you even get into the top five. There's really no money to be made. And I could be completely wrong about this, but I have searched high and dry to find the pro purse from MX Sports. And this basically just says, hey, you made some dough. Well, you got to fill out your information and we'll send it to you. Well, send me the breakdown. How much money could I expect to make? You know, you, you've seen my video. I, I'm on the cheap, cheap end and I've spent 1100 bucks to race this race. And I know the last national that I ever made some money at was 2015, and it was 250 bucks per moto uh, between, I believe it was something like 25th place to 40th place. And I ended up getting 31st. But you go to, you log in uh, your AMA Pro network for with them, and you go to earnings. Oh, coming soon. Great. You know, results. Even the rider login info is behind. Like, they only have Hangtown. Well, Thunder Valley just happened. We should have updated results. We had transponders. Like, come on, guys. Where could I find out? Oh, coming soon, earnings. You know, like, riders should be able to know this information, and it should be sent to all the riders. So what do you think these guys do? They throw money at these machines. They build them up as best they can to try to compete with these factories that have million-dollar budgets. A stock $8,000 bike like myself is just not... It's inferior equipment, and it shows on the track. Granted, I probably wouldn't have done a whole lot better if I had some factory equipment. I probably would have made the motos, but you wouldn't have seen me inside the top 20 and that's got more to say with just my drive and I don't want this to be my life anymore and I don't want to throw my body and everything that I have towards this because the likelihood of it working out for me is not in my favor the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result if I attack this again even with my injuries hindering my ability to to ride more than likely, I'm probably just going to get hurt again. So my absolute goal for making this YouTube channel is I wanted to help individuals. And I'm quite surprised with how fast I'm growing. and <laughs> Actually, how many people at the Nationals said that I was doing a good thing. So I always wanted to be the voice of all the privateers that are trying to make this their live. And for them that came up short, things need to change for this sport to stay around and for riders to continue to want to push the limits and inspire the youth to try to make this their dream. Because without the privateers and the families behind this sport, it's broke and it's going to die. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on Tech Inspection and Press Day. I'm going to make the video of qualifying in the actual race here in the next day or so and then after that i'm going to return to the regular scheduled programming of me talking shit and making riding tutorials for you guys so thank you for watching this is johnny hopper please like subscribe and until next time bro